Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please tell me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You have been studied enough. Somebody, they have studied you and studied you and studied you and studied you. And they that studied you to see if they will get what they are looking for, they are gradually getting tired of criticizing you. Yes, they are getting tired of criticizing you. Yes, they studied you to criticize your work. And they were finding pleasure in criticizing everything that you do. They, they, like they find pleasure in it. When it is about you, they are, ah, it is about how, let's do, it is about him or let's, you know. The way they take your matter, they don't take other people's matter like that. The way they criticize your work, everything you do, they always have, they must find fault. Mm, that is the word that we are. They will find fault. Does it mean that you have never done good something in your life? Let's even think that, okay, you have done some things that were not very beautiful, fine. But does it mean that you have never done good something? You have done good things, but those things are not seen at all. But even the good things are still being criticized. The good things are still being criticized. Even your understanding is being criticized. Your quietness being criticized. Your talking being criticized. Like, what will you do to do stop existing? Because of their criticism, no? For if the Lord be for us, who can be against us? You are not going to stop existing so that they will stop for them to stop. Even if you die, you said, okay, since I'm being criticized every day over everything, mm, let me just die. I'm telling you, even if you die, your death, they will still criticize it. Ah, that was how she died. Ah, God, we never thought just die like this, you know. Why did he, why did she not die like this? Why did she die like that? You don't know. They will still criticize their death. So what is the point of dying? Do you have to stop existing because of the criticism? No. Do you have to stop moving forward because of the criticism? No. Do you have to stop doing what you are doing because of the, of the criticism? No. Criticism are even signs that you are doing something right. God forbid that everybody has agree with what I'm doing. God forbid. That is to say I'm doing something wrong. Everybody cannot agree with you. There are people who have to disagree. But you don't have to stop because of those who disagree. You don't have to stop because of those who said, well, you are not what I want to see. I don't just like you. Well, just go away. You don't have to stop because of someone said he or she does not like you. They have studied you enough and the criticism and gradually their criticism about you is, is gradually fading off. They are getting tired of the criticism. Somebody told me one more one time ago. He said, I don't just like you. He said, but I, I don't just like you. I'm like, okay. Why did this person not like me? So when I continue reading what the person wrote. He said, I don't just know, I don't just like you, like, I don't just like whether my face or my voice, I don't even know what he said. He, he said, he don't just like me, not he has a particular reason why he did not like me. He, I don't just like you, you know, and something is just off, something is off 
I said, what is off, Mr. Offer? Uh, so Mr. Off, a light offer. Something is just off. You will see the way they'll be saying it. You will not be looking at yourself. Uh -uh. What happens to me? I don't just like you. <laughs> so I'm just giving you an example of how people will just criticize you for no reason. And the person was not having a particular reason like, okay, what you said, I did not agree. All this prophetic word, oh, it is fake. Oh, it is real. Or, or maybe your face is not good. Oh, he said, I don't just like you. Something is off. I said, okay, Mr. Offer. Mm. I didn't even ask. I just look at the comment. I just I just passed. Eh, 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 I don't just like you. Something is just off. Eh. You are the offer of the things. You are the offer of the something. The something that is off is you that off it. The wickedness of people. So, you don't have to stop. Well, this is what I'm saying to you. Because of the criticism. Don't stop. You don't have to stop existing because somebody does not just like you. Oh, I'm supposed to be crying because somebody came and said, I don't just like you. I don't just like you. So I will not go and be crying. Oh God, somebody said does not just like me. Oh God, I cannot do ministry again. Hmm? What is that? So I should stop existing because you don't just like me. Not that you have met me before, I've offended you, I've not said anything that wronged the person. You, so I should just uh, stop existing. <laughs> Can't you understand? This is a world where people are just looking for anything at all to criticize you. Anything, anything, anything at all, criticize. Hallelujah. There was a day I, I wore a red beret. And the person said, red beret, red beret, because they have gone to hear all kinds of rubbish. When somebody wear red, the person is a demon. When person wear yellow, the person is possessed. When person wear white, the person is a saint. When person wear black, the person is a demon. I'm like, when did clothes not become how you know somebody that is a demon and somebody that is not a demon. Oh, you are wearing that beret. Hey, I said, what is wrong with people? <laughs> they studied you enough and gradually they are getting tired of the criticism. The criticism is fading off. Yeah. The criticism is fading off because you will not stop existing. Child of God, how do I say it? Let me shout it like this. You will not stop existing oh, because of those who are criticizing your work. You will not quit. You will not quit because of those who don't just like you. You will not stop being you because of those who find needs not to see reason with what you do. <laughs> the people you see today that stand in the pulpit praying for you and praying with you and jumping up and down, you see some pulpits, you see some pastors when they are praying, they are jumping, jumping, jumping. If they tell you about the criticism they have encountered, if they are listening to the criticism, you will not even see them today that say, ah, this person inspired me. That person inspired me. All the people that inspired you, if they are listening to criticism, they will not have been able. They will not have been able to stand to evil. Yes, inspired you. The criticism will fade away. You will get to you, you will get used to the to that life. When you see criticism, you will just see it as if it's a normal thing in your journey. That is to tell you that it is fading away. It no longer affects you. Sometimes you feel it's why because you are human. But for it to come and affect your work, your life, no, it doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't happen like that anymore. It might just as you just look at it and say, well, we move. We move forward. We move forward. <laughs> Hallelujah. The criticism will fall, fade away. But hear me, you will not stop existing.
because of that criticism. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.